Come on, let's go. Go see Vinny. I'll meet you here. Heard you in the market for something that goes boom. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. You remember when the Corleone Hotel was a classy joint? The cat house you're going to has been headed downhill since 29. Though, I guess the girls are still pretty. You and Paulie had to learn sometime. When you go after a guy, you gotta leave him. Don't go any place yet. Gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I've been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave town? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. That's all I'm asking. Let's go. Performance at maximum while guarding against wear and tear. For optimal performance, Trey lets you go. She's go, the one go. from the racetrack, right? Tom, that was the last time we were ever gonna talk about her. Ever. I told you what I had to ask, and you listened. Gotta leave it there. Okay. Keep your head when you get into the hotel. Find your mark and don't act suspicious. The manager thinks he's untouchable. You can probably walk right up to him. Anything else I should know? Nah, just don't take all day. A lot of died young, so there can't be much to say about him. When the bomb goes off, I'll do my thing. Got it. What kind of world is it that when you screw up, you get sent to a cat house? Well, I have to clean up your mess at a funeral. You see the justice in that? I see a job I gotta do. Such a professional. Just try to finish a job this time, huh? First time I've been to a church in a while. Well, I'm gonna guess they're still singing the same songs. Last time I went, it was. Same songs I always heard as a kid. Yeah, you're not the religious type. It's the funerals, Tom. That's all it ever is. All that anyone ever wants to do is point guns at the family and shoot. Game point, there were so many funerals, I just stopped going to most of them. They're all boring as hell. That's a shame, seeing as you're always dressed for the occasion. Great guy. do that. No weddings. Weddings are less boring. I'd go to one of them. You working on that? Uh, guess so. Good. Because I've given up waiting on Paul. Guy couldn't get a broad to stick to him if they went swimming through glue. Ah, he'll find someone. Tom, if his own mother has given up hope, then you can give up hope too.
Here's your stuff. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too. In hey, UK. handsome. You here for a girl, drinks, or a mix of the two? A girl. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl I can help you with. Come through. Find a girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. There's no rush, so get a drink, relax, and enjoy yourself. And good afternoon, sir. Just how I like them. Why don't you buy me a drink? Because you're not the dame I'm after. You know Michelle? I'm new here, baby. I don't know a thing. We can just talk if you don't want anything. What's a handsome man like you doing in a place like this? Looking for a girl named Michelle. She's busy upstairs, but I'm free. between the Corleone Hotel and the Morello family will be long and fruitful. Who's these new guys getting the run of the place? And a manager at me. Hmm? Nothing for you here. Nothing for you here. Must have gone this way. Um, which hey, way can you? I help you? You looking for a good time? Come this way soon. Nah, I'm looking for a friend. Michelle. Sure you are. Come to my room and tell me all about it. I just want to talk. You know, I get to hear that a lot. I bet you're not like all the other guys either, are you? Nah, not really. You know Michelle. She's in 208. Get out. Sorry for the intrusion. Get out. Get out. Where's Michelle? Upstairs in 208. That all you want? That's all I want. <sighs> Wish they were all like you, sweetheart. Hey, what, what are you doing? This place ain't for you, okay? 
Come here, man. Take it. Oh, oh, this is gonna get real bad for you. You, Michelle? What's it to you? A fella named Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. Well, Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I won't never open my mouth again. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're scared then. Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're gonna find you with two in a head. Do you understand? <laughs> Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is gonna blow soon. <laughs> Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square.
you now!
like we lost him. No matter how far we've fallen, we can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son, a protective brother, and a loyal friend. And for those virtues, we pray that his soul will find salvation. And now, I believe, one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. I, uh... I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but... I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beat. So I don't know how I'm good... What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy! Please! Jesus, what was Please Billy involved in? Over here! <laughs> What have you done? Murder in the house of God! These men were criminals, Father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? None of us, Father. You bastard. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. No more bloodshed, please! I'm sorry, Father. <sighs> Consider this an act of divine retribution. <sighs> that make us even? Sure. For now. For your trouble, Father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. <laughs> when the cops come, you tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. 
The rest of their crew's coming in. Behind them. Form a perimeter around the church, boys. Don't let right him out. There. got the cops plenty pissed. Yeah, it was messy, but I got everything done. Everything? Yeah. Everything. All cars, pursuit is called off. Abandoned search. Okay. We lost them. <sighs> Thank Christ. Gonna be trying to forget today for a long time. You're telling me. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know, but when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. Jesus Christ, Tommy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know I could take you in right now, put your bowling bars, and tell you you're old and gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Morello. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. I recovered some account books from Rella's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need didn't catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. And every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A Coletti, a Don's consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. 
a little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from Sicily, I had this beautiful, skinny Cherneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together, betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat, and everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy, you could run this town someday. I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Give Sarah my best, Tommy. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back, eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. Sure. Back in the day, when the boss was still with that phone, he got called out to a hit. Some, uh... Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at a farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city, but I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie and meet Polly at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case earmarked for the Don. Heavens have opened, folks. 
and we're experiencing some adverse effects across the municipal area. A large storm front, not expected to arrive for several days, hit Lost Heaven late this afternoon, releasing a deluge of rainfall on the city. If you've been out in the last couple of hours, you don't need me to tell you. There are reports coming in of a number of traffic accidents attributed to the downpour, with fender benders occurring in Oakwood and Chinatown. A more serious accident has occurred near the White Harbor Hotel. Come on, Tom! Hey, hey! Watch it, pal! Just dry it out. Sorry. You know this place? Oh, uh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. We'll just load up the trucks. Come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it's there yeah. later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, uh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. going home to a couch. <laughs> now, I wonder what kind of story she could tell about her old man, though. Luigi was a stone-cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. 
Christ. Go to Mario just for that. God damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your P.E.K.K.A. get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. <laughs> That'll wake him. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here, just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. Jesus. Drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I got him pinned down! so long. Looking for Sammy? Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. <laughs> Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. <sighs> oh, Christ. The cops, Tommy. How would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. They must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. 
We gotta find Sam and get out of here. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the Border Patrol. Fuck. They've come heavy, all right. Make Lost Heaven TV uh. look like pussycats. We found the Canadians. See Sam in there? No. <sighs> Glad some. Poor bastards. Check every building. Push through! Stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Except us.
spare me. Oh, Jesus, what have they done to you? I got clipped. Grace has a lot of blood. Can you walk? No, no, I don't think so. Okay, 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 just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you're gonna make it, Sam. Tommy, mm. stay here with him. I'll be back, I'll be back in a flash. Okay. It'll be okay, Sam. We've survived worse. You sure? You sure we have? And Donnie too? Yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. somewhere.
Dennis! What are you doing here so late? Uh, uh, evening, Doc. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. The doc's already got his hands full. No sense in both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Tom. I'm gonna be fine. Okay. Hey. You did good tonight.
You're late. Dinner's cold. Hey, bud. They came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Who? I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. <sighs> More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. And when you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Shenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Tommy. Tough day today, Tom. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. Frank sees a La Parra, he'll know. The old ways work. 
You gotta get those books back before the feds use them against us. You gotta get those books 